the 16 machine will be Dylan Kopech at the back of the track. Green flag is up, we are underway, and the green is out. Julio trying to get the jump into turn number one with Marcotte to his inside. Everybody locked up side by side. First time up the back straight away for this 40 lap SK modified feature. RJ Marcotte leads the field back off turn number four. JP, Jonathan Julio. Puts the Mr. Ruder car into second, directly behind him. Tyler Hines, car number 99. Outside lane looks racing as they rumble back off turn number four. RJ Marcotte the leader again. Marcotte out front and trying to get away as Julio hangs on to the second spot. Battle for third, Hines and Flynn inside and out as they make their way up the back stretch with Michael Jarvis wrapping out the top five in car number 33. He has company and three-time and defending champion Todd Owen to his outside. Todd Owen's on a roll and directly to the inside of him is Keith Rocco. Red number 22, the Dan Avery race car. Battle from second on back. Tyler Hines moves into second. JP goes from the outside to the inside. Oh, trouble back of the field in turn number three. Couple cars pile in. That started further up front. And it just kind of accordion through the field. Chapman is involved along with 18 of Tyler Berry. Sandberg in the 27. Looks like the 51 also got a piece of that for Ethan DeRozier and Troy Talman in the three. Although it looks like he's able to pull away with minimal damage. Barry not as fortunate and a lot of damage to that 14 car at Chapman. Marcotte at the point leads the field back to the stripe. A little bit of tire spin there for Pines in the outside lane. Christopher out of shape. Gets into the grass car, number 82. Two cars become tangled further back. That's Dave Flamia and Wesley Prucker. They're okay. We continue under the green flag in three with a new leader for now. The guy to keep your eyes on is making some noise big time in the outside lane. Trouble now. Car number 99. Hines loose and turned out of the lead off of turn number four. Caution comes out. Owen and Jarvis outside and in as they go back to turn number one. Very tightly bunched up the back straight away. Julio looking on for third. Deep into turn number three. Leader brings them back to the stripe. Michael Jarvis. JP Jonathan Julio. Trying to create magic on the inside. Julio he gets touches to Owen. Todd Owen. And Owen goes around, and there is the green. Jervis and Rocco. Front row, Michael Jervis. But here comes Keith Rocco. Power move to the outside. Rocco drifts ahead, Jervis. Down low as they come back to the strike. Keith Rocco racing teammates making up the top two spots right now. Jarvis to the inside, Rocco topside just in front of Mikey Flynn and Marcello Refrato, third and fourth. Andrew Moeller slowly but surely coming to life, working his way into the top five in car number 85. Quickest guy in the outside lane is Marcello Refrato, the pride of Italy. They tested today. They said that Bear developed the setup for them, and they thought they had something tonight. Two by two. They look like they're going to the green, but they are up to speed. Austin Beers also running well in the front three rows. Third car in line, top side to the outside of Moeller. Here comes the winner of the last two feature events, Corey DiMatteo, car number 11. Now just outside of the top five as he goes to the bottom. No question about it. Corey DiMatteo's confidence is up. Leader is still Jervis. Here comes Mikey Flynn. The Ballyhaggy Farms machine plants itself in second. Rocco continues to dig hard. Jervis is the leader. They're all stacked up at speed. And Jarvis wanting to get away at the front, but unable to do that. In fact, here comes Flynn challenging for the race lead. Gets a great run off of turn number two and a shove by Andrew Moeller up the back straight away to go to the front of the field. No question about it. Corey DiMatteo also coming on strong. 
as now Di Matteo moves to the inside of Keith Rocco. Corey Di Matteo looking for the hat trick. Three wins back to back. 27 laps remaining. Mikey Flynn doing a great job of holding off Andrew Bowler. Then there's a gap. Here comes Bowler. Inside. Mikey Flynn on the high side. Andrew Moeller. Muscles his way to the bottom. Off turn number four. Andrew Moeller becomes the brand new leader. New leader at the line, 19 of 40 in the books. Andrew Moeller goes to the head of the class. Flynn settles in the line in second. Both of those drivers very much aware that Corey DiMatteo is closing from third. And DiMatteo about to be a great race for the second spot. There's no question, 23 of 40. Corey DiMatteo is coming on like gangbusters. And the set goes around after a bit of contact with Marcello Refrano while racing for that spot in the top 10. Saves the car, pulls away, four to go at the line. They were three wide in a bid for the fifth position. And all of a sudden, here comes Corey DiMatteo. The inside opened up, going, going, gone. Corey DiMatteo moves in and here comes Moeller. Back to life. Di Matteo throwing the block here on the front straightaway on Andrew Moeller, who settles in the line in second. Rocco right there in third. Di Matteo doing whatever he can do to guard that inside lane. Moeller, a bit of contact in turn four. Di Matteo slides up, but not enough. Hangs on to the top spot with two laps to go. Looking for three in a row for Corey Di Matteo. Leads off of turn number two. Andrew Moeller will have one final shot in turn three. Deep in turn number four. Here comes Moeller. But as they come to the stripe, checkered flag is out. Corey DiMatteo, three back-to-back -back victories here at Stafford.